and welcome to, is it Thursday, ED? Fairly certain it's Thursday. So I've not made a video, like a vlog for a few days. I've been absolutely exhausted. ED, like not last night, but the night before, ED was up all night, so I got to sleep. I woke up at like 11 p.m. when I was awake all night. Oh my God, I felt like such a zombie yeah. yesterday. Um, the last few days have just been so, so bad, but thankfully last night she slept a bit longer. Um, or you slept better, didn't you? Did you have a good night's sleep? Yeah. Yeah, good girl. Um, so I feel a bit more refreshed today. But then I was like in such a good mood because even though I woke up at like five, half five, I'd gone to sleep earlier and Edie hadn't woken up in the night. So I felt refreshed. And then I get an email saying, so I placed a grocery order for next week because I've only just had one two days ago. And they messed it up and they were going to deliver it today. And I was like... A, I don't have the money in my bank to pay for it today because I get money next week. And B, I don't need any food because we've just had a delivery. And I've now been having an argument with them on Twitter because it's a bit shit, really. Um, they've messed it up. There's something bugging out in there. It's like a calendar and you can book a slot. And I actually noticed it the first time I placed an order with them a few weeks ago. I thought it was just me making, like, being a bit ditzy because the order changed from the day like that day to the next week to that day. And I was really like confused. And I thought maybe I've just been missing things. No, there's obviously something bugging out, but they won't accept that. So they've now canceled the order, but I won't get my money back until the end of next week. And it's like, well, that leaves me with like 20 pounds until next Monday. I've got money, I've got bills going out. I need to get a few little bits at the weekend that I can't get online. It's shit, but, I'm trying to take a deep breath. Edie, don't get it all. No, 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 no. We don't take it out of the bowl unless it's going in our mouth, Edie. Look, do you want me to feed it to you? I've been having like really bad anxiety attacks at night, which is one of the reasons why I'm struggling to sleep even when Edie's gone to sleep. I'm thinking about like just the fact that how shit it is, the fact that we're all going to die. Like, it's a bit shit, isn't it? We're all going to die. There's no getting around it. We are all going to die. Yeah. The fact that one day... Edie won't exist. Like that just bleh. Um, and this is coming from someone who has, you know, suffered with suicidal thoughts for many years, decades, and has made many attempts on her life. And now that's like one of the biggest things that keeps me awake at night. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a head fuck. It does just really fuck my head up. The fact that, you know, Edie could get ill or I could get ill. It's very common, I think, with, you know, being a parent. That, you are gobbling that up. <laughs> um so yeah i had that last night so i'm trying to think right well we're all gonna die so what's the point in getting stressed about sainsbury's fucking my grocery delivery up so yeah that is that is that um today i think the weather is it's kind of blue sky peeking through but we've had a few days of rain so we've not really been outside much. So I think Edie needs to get outside. Do you want to have a run around? Do you want to go see the ducks maybe? Do you want to see the ducks? The ducks or the bluebells? Do you want to see the ducks or the bluebells? Ta. Ta. Okay, that's, that's helpful. I also want to show you, I've set up a little home studio in my living room because when I changed things around the other day, there you go. <laughs> Is that delicious? Um, I now have some space on my dining table. So what I've done under the stairs is, like, it's all clear now. I've tidied it all away. Um, because I tidied it all away the other day, there's now room for, like, a little studio setup. So just not, like, anything fancy, obviously. But I've got my mic and my headphones down there. And then it means that if Edie's playing downstairs, I can do stuff that doesn't involve a microphone. And then what I'm hoping is that when I get to a better place physically and mentally and I'm not so exhausted, when she goes to bed, I can sit downstairs at like rather than sitting in my bed and doing music and sit at the table and actually proper properly do some stuff. So that's good. I'll show you that later. I like the idea of sitting down there because it's kind of like dark. It's very atmospheric. Um, I can put some candles, get a cup of tea. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I also really want to try and show you the playhouse because I realised I didn't show it to you. No. That is Edie's playhouse. So, 
Um, because the weather's been a bit rubbish, it's not played in it for a little while, but there it is. It was worth the wait. Yeah, that's our plans for the day. Um, I also got a few deliveries coming because, you know, I've been speaking about like how much my head has been hurting. Yeah. There you go. And I'm a bit worried that part of the reason it might be hurting is when I go outside, like the sun hitting my head really, really hurts. So because my head's black, it's going to absorb the heat. Do you want a yogurt? It's been okay the last few days, thankfully. Um, so, yeah. You want yogurt? Um, yeah. Um. Um, so I've got some hats coming. I'm also waiting for a delivery uh, from H&M, which is some sandals for Edie, because obviously I wasn't expecting to be in lockdown when the weather was heating up and she doesn't have any summer shoes. So I ordered her some really sweet summer sandals because she's got none. Um, and also something for her room, like a wall tidy, like the one I've now got. We are going to be chilled today. We're not going to be stressed about stupid stuff because life is too short how is everyone else coping with um isolation apparently mum said that the government are going to announce the next stage of lockdown before may the 7th may the 7th is next thursday so early may they're going to announce the next stage i'm really 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 hoping i'm really hoping that that means we could give nana a cuddle because friday is her birthday i've got to go now because my mum is trying to call me so i'll speak to you later that is so annoying um so we just got back from the park we left just in time because it's just started raining which is what it was forecast to do so that's fine so i'm now sat in my little studio so i'm going to have i'm going to show you i've got my cup of tea and i'll be honest i made my cup of tea purely because i said this morning i can see myself sitting there with a cup of tea i don't have the candles it was set up, so I've got my microphone here, which needs untangling, but oh, it's such a long lead, I can't be bothered. There's my laptop, my headphones, my teeny cup of tea, because I don't like tea, really. I, I just like tea to give me a bit of warmth and, um, I was going to say a bit of energy, but it's decaf tea, so, uh, yeah. Um, I've got my water there, which is empty, and I'm going to try and have a little play with one of the songs that I'm working on. It's at the moment, it's called Through the Glass. Um, and I kind of want to have a little play around with it. Um, I don't have much battery left. But we'll see. We've bumped into Dexter's vet at the park. Not literally, but she was across the road and she was waving. And I was like, oh, that lady with the dog is waving. It's my eyes not very good. I was like, oh, that's, that's Kiara, which is Dexter's vet. She's so lovely. And we had a little chat, which was far away. Um, but yeah, it was nice to see her interact with an adult. Bye. I'm going to do this. I've probably got about 10 minutes before my battery dies and before Edie starts getting... Do you want another episode on? And then it's going to be lunchtime. Um, and then it's nap time, which I'm very much looking forward. You okay? very much looking forward to. I'm going to see you a little bit later.